Welcome back to question four, where we're working through diagram interpretation. Um, so let's work through the question step by step. So for this question, I like to create um, sort of a map in my head as you go. So here we have 30 engineers. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a shape for engineers. I don't know which shape that is, so I'm cheating. <laughs> so let's just make an imaginary shape. Let's say circle is engineers. There are 10 doctors, sure. So we put doctors here, 10, we've got 30 engineers as we said, and then we've got five administrators. So I know that that's how many we have because it says there are, but it hasn't told me how they overlap yet and that part's about to come. So seven of the engineers also work in sales and marketing. Okay, so we have a new shape that, ooh, let's just make it a, uh, let's make it a trapezium. So we know seven of the engineers also work in sales and marketing. So I'm gonna put a little seven there. And remember overall there are 30 engineers. So I have to make this 23 now, right? 30 minus the seven that are also in that segment sort of here. Um, and then three of the doctors happen to be salespeople, so happen to be engineers and salespeople as well. Now this is a hard one, but because it says as well, it makes me think that the of these seven engineers, right, that also work in sales and marketing, they aren't included in this, right? So th this three is additional as well um, in the sales and marketing team. So I'm also going to put so the doctors, so the doctors here. So we've got the original three doctors that we put here, right? Um, seven of the engineers in sales and marketing. So we put, so three of those have to be, happen to be, so th those three doctors have to overlap in all of the different segments, right? So there has to be a segment where they overlap um, overall. So using this information, now let's look at the actual questions itself. So we know that we have to have the engineer box, right, adding up to 30. So let's just see if any of these boxes add up to 30. So we've got, we don't know which box it is, but we can assume that these five administrators are here because it's in every single one, right? So they're all the same. So we shouldn't even look at this because they're in every single option. Now. We'll also notice that the trapezium always adds up to 10, right? This trapezium here, 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 and here always adds up to 10. So we know there are 10 doctors. So we know that probably, you know, if we were labeling the different images, we've got admin, then we've got doctors, and then what are the two things left? We've got sales and marketing and engineers. So notice how the rectangle always nearly adds up to 30. So here it adds up to 30, here it adds up to 30, here it adds up to 40, here it adds up to 33. So I think it's a fair guess to say that the rectangle is engineers, right? And then finally that leaves the diamond as sales and marketing. And now we just have to pick which one would make sense. So we know there are three sales and marketing people and seven sales and marketing people here. So overall the sales and marketing has to add up to 10. So it adds up to 10 in here and here, which is correct. But the only difference between C and D is where the seven is, right? So if we go back, seven engineers also work in sales and marketing, right? So in this case, in D, that the seven sales and marketing people aren't in the engineering box. So we know that C is the correct answer because it has the right number overall in each of the shapes that fits with the explanation. It also has the numbers in the correct overlapping boxes um, and it fits with our interpretation of the question. So I think the key thing here for me is first to speed up, you can look at what is different, kind of like one of those, you know, find the difference between these pictures type um, things. Um, you can look at what's different between the options to guide what you have to try and work out. So in this case, you know, the five that's on the outside of the question, they're different in every single case. Uh, sorry, they're the same in every single case. So there's no sense in trying to work out what that five is, just don't even worry about it. But we identified that here the seven moves in, the seven moves out. We also identified that these overall boxes add up to different numbers. 
etc, etc. So this is just one example. I do think these questions are probably more complicated than the previous example um, because uh, it's not as simple as just finding the segment. It's kind of doing the reverse, constructing the picture itself, which is more complicated. So um, we're going to move on to the next question type now. Um, so good luck. Thank you.